Glam Home. Well, today I'm excited to share two home improvement updates. I'm going to start first of all in my entryway. I hope you enjoy. So in my entryway, I had three family photos. And as much as I loved them, I wanted to do a gallery wall. So I headed off to Kmart and I picked up these white frames. So I started first of all by removing the three family photos off the wall and what I'm going to do here guys is I'm just going to line up all the white frames first. Now there's 15 in total and what I wanted to do is just put them in place to make sure I was happy where I was going with this before I put the photos inside. Now once they were all in place, I then wanted to add this home is where my heart is sign. works and printed out some of my favorite photos before placing them inside. After straightening them all up, I was so happy with how they came. wall is my arch mirror on my shiplap wall and I decided to remove the two canvases either side of my arch mirror and add the two black photo frames. Now on my tufted bench I changed out my cushions and I absolutely love this boho style cushion that I recently picked up from Sassy My Style. It is such a beautiful quality cushion guys and I placed that in the center. Guys, 
guys, my entryway is very neutral themed at the moment and I really love the warm and cozy feel that it has. But I was really wanting to add a gallery wall to the opposite wall and I'm so happy with how this came. These were inexpensive frames from Kmart at just $6 each. So if you're looking at doing a gallery wall, Kmart is definitely the place to check out frames. They're really inexpensive and they're really good quality as well. is where the heart is sign was also from sassy my style home decor and i really love it i did get it a couple of years ago though guys on to the second DIY in my home and it was so overdue. I'm so embarrassed to show you this guys. This is my linen cupboard and it was exploding with cushions and throws and I had way too many. I had no organization whatsoever but I really wanted to make this room Pinterest worthy. So my first job was removing every single thing from this room. I decided to divide everything up into three piles, what I was getting rid of, what I was donating and what I was keeping. So you can see here, there really is a linen cupboard in there guys. I was already feeling so much better. So going through Pinterest and looking at so many different ideas on linen cupboard organization, I decided to head to Kmart to pick up a few things for the transformation. picking up three rolls of this contact paper. Now you may recognize this from my DIY pantry makeover. I use this as the same backdrop as well. This is a really inexpensive way of adding a little touch of glam to any part of your room and I really love this black and white design. I also picked up two of these chalkboard tags. Really inexpensive guys. This is why I love Kmart so much. I then headed around to their plastic containers. Now, there are so many to choose from here. I ended up getting the black ones from Kmart, but there was pink ones in a store here in Australia called Silly Sollies. Silly Sollies is a discount variety store where everything is under $5. So you'll see that I add some pink ones as well. everything home I give the cupboards a very good clean down then I got started on the contact paper Now the key here guys is to smooth it out all with your hands and off camera I cut it to size. Completed all the back walls what I did is I got the baskets off camera and I put them where I wanted them to be I then took those chalkboard pegs and I took a piece of chalk and I labeled them Here 
is my blush pink linen covered makeover. Guys, I can't tell you how happy this makes me. When I walk in this room now, it's an instant sigh of relief. You've seen what it looked like before and oh my goodness, I couldn't believe I let it get this out of control. But look at it now. Just It just says shell, does it not? <laughs> I really love about both my DIYs I've done here guys is that it was on a budget all these baskets were less than five dollars except the black woolen ones I think they were twelve dollars from Kmart but I always love to show you that you can do DIYs on a budget Thank you so much for watching guys. I truly hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope I've inspired you when it comes to doing DIY projects around your home, whether it be in your entryway or your linen cupboard. There's always an inexpensive way guys for you to create something stunning in your home. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects, inspirational ideas and room tours here at Shills Glam Home.